Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energies of love surrounding you at this time. See what's surrounding you, coming towards you. If you're a cross watcher for Aries, please remember flip switch the energies and roles. Don't force messages as this is collective. You can reach out to me for a personal reading through the information provided in the description box. So I'm going to start with Oracle and then we'll clarify with Tarot. What is the energy of love surrounding coming towards Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? So there was somebody that was connecting to you that was operating under an illusion. Somebody wore a mask and it was affecting your abundance. Somebody was stealing from you. Someone was not being authentic in the connection. And I feel this is all coming to light. And there's a message from your guides and angels in regards to not letting it affect your spirit. It says, be lighthearted as you find these things out. Adapt, change, and heal. Recognize this for the gift that it is. Seeing someone clear and, and true is in your best interest. It's increasing your vibration and it's allowing you to move towards abundance because this connection, this relationship, this person was definitely a factor in holding you back from your expansion, from something that was supposed to be, um, that's in alignment with your purpose, right? There was somebody that was affecting your ability to manifest, could be, right? It says abundance in the reverse. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want through gratitude and bliss, right? You weren't able to feel any of those things. You were blocked from manifesting what you desire, what you're meant to be moving towards because somebody was lying to you. Somebody was not being honest and you were stuck in a cycle with this deceptive energy. It says not showing true feelings, hiding, personify, pretend, a gaslighter, right? So a true manipulator is what you were connected to for a period of time. But I do feel that that has come to light. And now the energy of transformation is around the series is what I'm getting. So I'm going to do a six card spread to clarify this energy of love that surrounds you at this time. See what message your angels and guides have for you. So the anchor of this reading, we have this eight of swords in the reverse and the two of pentacles. So there's validation in the decision that you've made. You are very um, grounded at this time. So two of pentacles is Capricorn energy and it's about making a decision. It's having multiple options or choices and both having some tangible elements to them. But you went with your heart. I'm just drawn to the water energy at the back or of this two of pentacles. You chose to go with your heart. And that's something that you can always guarantee is a good um, choice with the eight of swords in the reverse showing up. It's showing that you're pure of heart. Your heart is open. You're manifesting from high vibration and to not let anything um, deviate you from that vibration is what I feel with that eight of swords. It's seeing things clearly, recognizing that you have the power within to change your dynamic. You have the power to change your future, right? If you choose abundance, that's what you'll move towards, right? We manifest what we are, not what we want. So I do feel that the anchor here being the two of pentacles is a choice that is validated as being a wise choice. It's a clarity of mind, bottom of the deck, queen of swords, after dealing with someone that wore a mask, after dealing with a liar, queen of swords, could have been an Aquarius. What is the challenge that Aries is facing in regards to this energy of love, page of swords? So this person's still energetically attached to you, but they're only showing up as a page. So I don't feel that this vibration, their negativity can directly impact you. Just know that they're watching you and they have a lot of regret. We've got the world showing up here in the reverse. This is someone that wishes things could be different is what I'm getting. This is someone that is stuck, someone that has not expanded, someone is not taking accountability. We've got um, the four of wands in the reverse. So I do feel that somebody is holding out and not being honest still, even though you see them clearly, someone is still holding this illusion or trying to hold this illusion, but the mask has fallen is what I feel. So there's someone that's attached to you that you see clearly now that isn't taking any action. Could be someone you have blocked with the page of swords in the reverse, but this person is watching you, Aries, and this person is um, being attentive to the things that you're doing, the people that you're surrounding yourself with. So this person is definitely watching you. So we've got around you the energy of the recent past, the high priestess in the reverse. So secrets definitely came to light. The illusion has been lifted in regards to somebody that was not being authentic, someone that was a liar with that 
uh, Queen of Swords energy that was showing up. And the Page of Swords, you've got someone that's very insecure. This is someone that was holding you back from expansion. This is someone that promised you happiness, but this is someone that was not able to deliver because of all of the lies and deception that this person was weaving, right? So this is a major narcissistic energy that I'm picking up here, Aries. You were dealing with someone that is incapable of growth, someone that is very negative and insecure and had a real hard time with your light, right? The, the, the brighter you shone, the harder it was to be with this person. This person um, is very insecure. We've got the um, Four of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So you're manifesting something new after heartbreak, Aries, is what I feel. You could have been dealing with an Aries yourself. We've got Five of Cups, that's Cancer, no, that's Scorpio energy. And we have a lot of sword energy, so but in the reverse. So indicating you were dealing with someone that was very manipulative in the past. You've broken ties, right? You've set boundaries with this devil energy, this insecure, fear-based, low vibrational person that is still watching you, watching you grow and expand in a new direction is what I feel. You were dealing with a player, but now the player has been exposed. There's no hiding any longer what you see. You see this person authentically and for whom and what they are. Ten of Cups is Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces, but the High Priestess in the reverse is indicating that the jig is up that this person can't hide anymore, that you see them exactly for what they are. What is the energy surrounding Aries at this time that they are not aware of, please? What is the energy surrounding Aries that they are not aware of? The Knight of Wands in the reverse. So the, the player is still hovering, even though you've set boundaries. I do feel this person's looking for a way in, but can't find one, Ace of Cups. There's a new cycle of love about you. Right, because this is the energy of love surrounding you, coming towards you. Now, there's a person showing up that has regret for their player ways, impacted possibly a family, certainly a wish fulfillment. But you are no longer bothered by this energy. You are no longer considering this person who's still energetically attached and watching you. You are moving towards something that is of higher vibration, with the Ace of Cups possibly moving towards water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be, but I do feel that you will not be um, single for long if you are in this independent energy. So there is new love coming in after something has fallen apart, right? And everything that fell apart was for your greatest and highest good. So like I said, it's all in divine timing. This is all playing out. There's karmic debt being delivered to this Knight of Wands in the reverse. You could have been dealing with Sagittarius. Show me how this person that's connecting to Aries truly feels about them. They feel that you're being victorious in a different direction. You're moving away from them, Five of Swords. Right the minute that you saw this person for whom they really were, and that was something this person was afraid of. This person didn't want you to see them authentically, but now that you see them for whom and what they are, you're setting a lot of boundaries around yourself. You're very guarded, very protected, as you should be, because this person is an, uh, like an opportunist, always looking for some way to be advantage in a way that's not authentic, in a way that isn't from their heart space. I feel that you've increased your vibration to become more in alignment with your heart as a result of these boundaries that you've set. There is a new cycle of love coming in, Aries, that is going to light you up, that is going to rock your world is what I feel. What is the outcome here? So Page of Cups, again, Pisces energy could be releasing a Pisces. Queen of Swords in the reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands in the reverse. This person has a lot of regret areas, and they're watching you. And the more time they spend watching you, the more regret that I feel that's showing up in their energy, in their space. They feel a lack of victory. Could be dealing with a Leo, Seven of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy, could be on the cusp. Queen of Swords has shown up twice. That's Aquarius energy in the Page of Cups. This person has a lot of regret and the, the grass was not greener is what I feel if this person did leave for somebody else. So the mask has been lifted, Aries, is what I feel. What advice do you have for Aries moving forward in regards to this message of love? Time to go in the reverse. Someone has a lot of regret for leaving you is what I feel. The number 45 
may be significant, but it's too late now. The mask has fallen and you are moving in this new energy, this new vibration of abundance towards transformation. So there's your message of love, Aries. Let me know if it resonates. Claim it, like it. I appreciate you so much. Take care. Bye.